Tips for how to become a successful Roblox YouTuber From yours truly With 1000 subs <laughs> I know I might not be the best person to do this type of video But I had a few people ask me about YouTube And if I have any tips So I just thought I might as well What? <laughs> the actual hell Okay, so we're back and I'm recording. So my first tip will be that you should experiment with your ideas. Find out what works, find out what doesn't work. You need to find out what gets views and what doesn't get views. You just need to find the type of content that works for you, that works for YouTube and works for your fans. Even if it means making like the strangest, the weirdest videos, you just need to find out what works and what doesn't. I think a good sign of that for me is my horrendous furry video where I turned myself into a furry and I thought that might have gotten views and that people might have found it funny Clearly not, but now I know that I shouldn't make videos like that. <laughs> and in general, through experimenting, I found out that scripted videos don't really work well for me and for my fans. I found out that Let's Play videos don't really do well either. Edited Roblox group videos just work the best for me. And you just need to find out what works best for you. You just need to find your type of content that gets you views. Tip number two is to get right into the action. Don't stall. Get right into the video. Once you do more videos, you'll realize that people click away really fast. You'll probably even notice it with yourself when you're on YouTube that a lot of the times you probably like click on a video, you realize it's not really what you expected or what you really like and you click away. That's why it's so important to get right into the action so that you can hook the viewer so that they stay and watch till the end of the video so that they could possibly become a fan who even watches more of your videos who maybe even subscribes. That's why it's so important not to stall. Just get right into the video. For me, for example, I do little sneak peeks of like the best moment. So just get people interested so that they don't click away. Keeping viewers interested is something really important and you understand more of it once you start making more videos, trust me. Tip number three is to edit your videos. I don't know how, some people just don't do this when they start off. Edit your videos, cut out the boring bits, add a few meme edits. I don't know, do something because just having a long unedited video, it's boring. No one really wants to watch that. It's boring, it's uninteresting, it's a waste of time. I don't get why people just don't edit their videos. You should be editing your videos. Even if it's basic stuff, like yeah, cutting out the boring bits. Because again, you want to keep people interested. If there's boring bits in your videos, or like sections where you don't speak or something, or a section where nothing happens, cut that out. No one wants to see that. Tip number four, have your own thing that makes you stand out. You need to have something that again makes you stand out and makes you memorable. For me, it's being rude to people. I know it's a bit, <laughs> but that's just what people like me for. And I can see in my comments, people just find my rudeness funny and that's my thing. And you just need to find your thing. If you don't stand out as a person, then why should people watch you? If you're making maybe, for example, gameplay videos, then why should people watch you instead of some other YouTuber? That's why it's so important to have your own thing, to just stand out. You need to keep in mind, why should people watch my videos? That's the question you should always be asking yourself. Why should people be watching my videos? If you can't answer that question, you might be doing something wrong. You need to remember that there's so many other people trying to do the same exact thing as you are become famous on YouTube. If your videos are super generic with no personality in them, why should people watch you? Tip number five is to keep branding in mind. Branding will help you again stand out and to create an image for yourself. For me, for example, I have my peppermints. 
that I, you know, that I have on my Roblox avatar and that, that I use throughout my channel. It's kind of like a logo, I, I guess you could say. And I also have, you know, the, cl the color blue that I use also in a lot of things. That's just what my branding is and it helps people to recognize me as a creator. Which is, you know, super important. Although this isn't something you should be thinking about right away, right when you're starting off YouTube, it is something you should keep in mind. Tip number six is to do original ideas. You'll see that the YouTubers who do original ideas are usually the ones who grow the biggest. And the reason for that is because, you know, they're doing something no one else is doing. That's why they're growing so big. That's why you need to be original and try new ideas with your videos. You might be thinking that it's so hard to think of an idea and it is true, it is hard to think of an original video idea. It is. It might take a f quite some time for you to think of something but trust me, it's gonna pay off. Think of Mr. Beast. He probably didn't think straight away, yeah, let's read the whole dictionary. Let's say PewDiePie a million times. He probably didn't think of that straight away. That's like some of his first videos that really got millions of views. His first videos that really got him a lot of attention because of how crazy and absurd and original they were. And you should be trying to do the exact same thing. Maybe not to his extent, but to the extent of, you know, being original. I'm trying to do the exact same thing with you know, my raid videos. They are raids, which, you know, there are so many out there, but I'm just trying to add my own twist to them by making the characters, you know, actually behave like the actual characters they are. And that's what makes me stand out with my raid videos, and that's why people enjoy them. Future Matt here to tell you tip number seven. When I initially recorded the footage for the video, I didn't think of saying this tip. But I think it's pretty useful, so here I am, future Matt, telling you this tip. Let us commence forth. Tip number seven is to put focus on making good thumbnails. Thumbnails will always be the first thing that viewers see before they actually watch your video. Meaning that it's super important to have a good eye-catching thumbnail. You become better at making thumbnails the more videos you make. So don't worry if your thumbnails aren't too good if you're starting off, you will get better. One thing that really worked well for me are speech bubbles. Speech bubbles really attract attention because people then wonder, oh, did this really happen in the video? Oh, did they really say that? And then they get interested and they obviously click and you get a view. And it, it's just a thing that works well for a lot of people. Like a lot of YouTubers do it and I occasionally do it as well because it just works. <laughs> So, do, do speech bubbles, they work, but don't try to overdo it. I think if you have speech bubbles on every single video, you're gonna look a bit silly. So try not to overdo it. I just wanted to say to make sure that your thumbnail is visible, as in that people can actually tell what it's meant to be. A good way to test this out is to zoom out in your editing software. Just zoom out and see what your thumbnail looks like when it's really small. If you can see everything really easily in your thumbnail, then congrats, you have a good thumbnail. A good way to make sure that people can actually tell what's in your thumbnail is by not adding too much. Add like a few Roblox characters and make them really big and that's that. Maybe add like an outline, maybe increase the contrast, the sharpness, maybe make the background the darker just to make the Roblox characters stand out so that people can actually see that they're Roblox characters. People just need to know that, you know, your video is a Roblox video. And that's, and the Roblox characters, they help viewers to notice that. That's why they're so important. So again, just experiment, find what works best for thumbnails, and you'll find a format that will work for you. If you found the video helpful, make sure to subscribe, leave a comment and like the video. I would also like to thank my members for being members. <laughs> thank you so much, Yaroslavic, Denzinen, KikoCraftAc233 and JayZVol1. Thank you guys so much for your support. If you would like to be a member so that you can also have a shout out, check out that join button. Oh, isn't it nice? And also join the Discord server and join the Roblox group and buy the Roblox merch. Yes, you should check all of that out in the description. Okay, peace out.